So today we're going to be talking about pie cuts. We're not going to be welding any like this. I'm just going to be uh, describing how to cut them, how to design them, how to find your center line radius, uh, and all the fabrication sides of it. So I was in an online course of my buddy Ed Wheeler. Hey Ed. Uh, we were doing that this morning and he was specifically wanting to work on aluminum pie cuts. So we were working on that and then I was trying to describe how I find my center line radius to make the bend. Uh, but it slipped my brain. It's been a few years since I've done pie cut stuff, um, you know, every day. So I told him, hey, you won't worry about that right now. I'll make a video and load it up on YouTube for you. So that's what we're going to do today. So if you're interested, stick around. So I was looking for some tubing or pipe and I couldn't find any long enough to really make this video, but what I did have was some two inch ABS plastic pipe. This is schedule 40, uh, but everything's gonna be exactly the same as cutting it out of metal. You can use this technique for stainless, aluminum, whatever. Just make sure that your saw can cut the material that you're wanting to. So today we're gonna talk about making pie cuts. Uh, people use these a lot for exhaust or for like um, cold air intake or um, intercooler tubing, all that sort of stuff. Um, basically all it is, instead of having a mandrel bent piece of tubing, uh, you just cut a bunch of pie shapes out of your pie or out of your tubing to get the desired bend that you're going to want. So I'm just going to go over uh, basically what you're going to be measuring and how to find that pie cut. So first thing is you want to figure out what center line radius you're going to use. So pipe comes in, pipe and tubing comes in a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different uh, center line radius bends. And what a center line radius is, is let's just say you have a 180 degree bent piece of tubing. Right here is your center line, you know, halfway in between it, and dead center in between your two ends of your pipe. You have a dot, and it comes up right to the center line of your um, bent piece. So let's just say six inches is your center line radius. Now to figure out how long you're going to be cutting your pipe, uh, there's a couple things you got to know. You got to know your center line radius. And all you're going to do is draw a real straight line and you're going to plot a point right here down at the bottom. You're going to measure up to your center line radius. So let's say it's six inches. Right here's your center line radius. And then if you're using three inch tubing or any tubing, you're just going to measure half of that. So if it's three inch tubing, you're going to measure up an inch and a half and put a line and down an inch and a half and put a line. Just make those nice and straight. The next thing you gotta do after that is figure out what angle you're gonna be cutting them at. Now, most pie cuts are either um, at nine degrees or 15 degrees. And what that is, is let's say you have your pie cut, it's nine degrees total, so you have four, degrees here and four and a half degrees here. On 15, you'd have seven and a half, why did I put inches? Degrees. So you'd have seven and a half and seven and a half degrees on both sides. And the reason why people use these a lot is it's uh, mathematically it's super easy. So for 90 for a 90 degree bend with your 9 degree pie cuts, you would need 10 of them. And with your 15 degree pie cuts, you would only need 6 of them. So, you know, 15 times 6 equals 90, 9 times 10 equals 90. So all you'd have to do to figure out uh, what your bend is going to be is divide it by 9 or divide it by 15. And that gives you the amount of pie cuts you need. So, let's just pretend we're going to do uh, 15 degrees. So all you do is take a uh, measuring device of some kind, 
Right. Say you got one of these. Set it at seven and a half degrees. Put it right here and mark straight up on both sides. And then you're just gonna take something that you're measuring it with, you know, figure out how wide it's gonna be at the narrow point and at the tall point. And then you're gonna write them down to say it's hypothetically one inch and two inches up top. Let's just say that's what it turns out to be. It's not gonna be that simple, but uh, we'll just say that for now. So then all you're gonna have to do is take your pipe and you're gonna mark a straight line all the way down. So take, like if you have a piece of angle iron, set it on there, mark straight down it. So then the easiest way I've found is to take a piece of paper and you're gonna wrap it around your pipe Make sure it's nice and straight like that. It's real tight. And then right where the paper overlaps, you're gonna put a mark. Then, you're gonna take your paper, fold it right into that point, you know. Put a fold right there, open it up, put a mark right dead center of the crease. And that's your halfway point. So then, so then you can find that first line that you put on the pipe, match it up to that, wrap it all the way around, and then right where that guy is, you're gonna mark that with your pen. And then I like to go and do the other side, wrap it around again, and mark wherever it pops up, you know? And then if there's any difference, it'll usually be like a sixteenth of an inch. Right in between that is gonna be your center line. Or your, your halfway line. And then you're just gonna take your angle iron again and mark that. The reason we do this is so that when we put it in the saw, we're gonna So say this is your clamp on your saw right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna measure up from the base up onto the clamp and you're gonna find your halfway point of your pipe. So we're doing three inch, so you're gonna mark inch and a half right there. Then when you put your pipe in, you're gonna line up your straight line with your mark on your saw clamp. And then you're gonna tighten it down. Your saw is set to seven and a half degrees or four and a half, whatever pie cut you're doing. You're gonna chop off the end of that. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark um, either the short side or the long side. So if your saw blade cuts this way, I don't know if you can kind of tell. So the long side will be in the back, short side up front. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna Flip it 180 and you're gonna measure so that it'll be the long side up front and then you're gonna measure back your two inches or whatever your um, top length came out to be. So then you slide your pipe forward and line this up. You know, it's been spun 180 degrees and then you're gonna put your saw blade down, take a straight edge off of your blade and make sure it's lining up with your cut point that you have marked already on your pipe. And if it is, clamp it down, cut it, spin it 180, and you just keep doing that same thing. And if it's the opposite, if your saw cuts the long side up front, then when you spin it, you're gonna have the short side up front now, and then you're gonna take your short side measurement and do the same thing, line up that blade, make sure this is lined up. And what that'll do is give you pie cuts that have the center marked and the backside marked. So then, when you go to put them together, let's say this is a forward view, so you'll have the pie cut there, 
you'll have your line right here, and then when you butt up your next pie cut, you'll have that center line that you can match together so that you can tack them together. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your blade at that seven and a half degree uh, mark. So what I'm gonna do now is just uh, put the material in. It doesn't matter if it's lined up. Tighten it down, that way uh, in case your um, clamp rises up, this is the height it's gonna be uh, when you're cutting. So now we're gonna take our, some type of measuring device, and do it from the base where this is touching, and you're gonna mark uh, the radius of the pipe. So this one was inch and three sixteenths. So one inch, three sixteenths. So now, all we gotta do is put our pipe in there. Make sure it's lined up with that line. We'll clamp it down and we're ready to cut. So with this first piece, what you can do is cut it long and trim it down later. But what's nice is if you need a straight section after your pie cut bends, you can weld this to the uh, straight pipe because if you weld it straight to a piece that's angled uh, then it's gonna be it's not gonna line up right so now we can loosen it we're gonna measure our long side in inch and seven eighths is what it came out to be so put it right on the edge before you've cleaned any burrs off so that way it's nice and lined up. Now put it in there, line up the line, just barely, put my blade down. Use a straight edge and look where it's gonna be. I need to scooch forward a little. All right, and that's good. Now, if you have a stop, you can rest it right here or right here. So that way you can do this really quick. Another way that you can do this, if you have a, um, a base that's longer or maybe a stand that's right there, 
is you can use a uh, straight edge, something like this, to rest on your uh, base and just twist it until it hits both sides so you know that it's straight up and down. But if you don't have that, like a lot of these saws, this is the best way to go. Now after they've been cut, what you do is clean them up and right on your lines, you'd take a little engraver, something like this, and you just mark Just a couple little marks right where those lines are. That way you can locate them together after you've either scotch brighted or wire brushed and the marks disappear. And if you want, you can do the backs also so that you can line up the front, line up the back. But normally what I do is get the fronts together, tack them, and then walk it all the way around. And if it's stainless, you're gonna go every like three quarters of an inch Aluminum, you can do one on the front, one on the back, one right here, and one over here. So three or four tacks on aluminum usually does pretty good. So from here, that's looking pretty dang good. It looks like we're within a sixteenth all the way around. So that's going to be a good, uh, a good pie cut. Checked it, make sure everything works. If you plan on making these again, I would just save your notes and maybe write down how you did it on your saw. So I was measuring the back side length, so just say back side length, and then all you really have to do is measure that back side length, or remember that back side length for this specific type of tubing or pipe. All right guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you understood what I was talking about with finding the center line radius. Um, it comes in handy, especially when you've got to do super tight bends and you can't find a bend tight enough online. Uh, or you just need a bunch of random stuff and you don't want to pay for the mandrel bent tubing. Uh, if this video did help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, comment about something if you need uh, clarification on it or if you just have something you'd like to say. Subscribe if you're not and hit the bell, that way you get notified every time I upload one of these videos. If you're interested in an online course, just uh, go down to the description. I've got my email address in there. Send me an email and we'll get you hooked up. All right, thank you guys and you have a good one.